thinking of using this one. Why? No, 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 no. no. Me to you. Sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to be spending the weekend with you guys. This weekend is gonna be a very special weekend because we have a really fun project to do in the house. The reason why I was feeling like, oh my gosh, I really wanna share this with you guys. I've been wanting to do a prayer closet since I moved into this house. And at first it was a little bit like hectic. We have so many projects and I was putting my prayer closet at the bottom of my list. And now I'm like, I need it. I need a closet. I need a room in my house where I can just sit there with the Lord. I can stare at scriptures on the walls and I can have it for me. This weekend, I'm excited to start on that project. And we found the closet as well because that was another thing. It was which closet to pick. We have two closets on the third floor. And if you follow me on Instagram, you remember the journey of me like looking around the house and picking a prayer closet. The third floor is not happening because it gets really hot up there and the closets don't have outlets. So I cannot put like an AC or a fan. I'm just gonna burn and sweat to death. So I decided to go for the first floor. We have a hidden nook underneath our stairs and I feel like it will be the perfect closet for my prayer closet because number one during the day i do spend a lot of time in the first floor um i only come to the second floor for my office if i have to work but i love being downstairs also we're gonna be putting a ac in the dining room so i will have the ventilation and i want to show you guys the closet in a little bit before we kind of start the week i want to walk you guys through my plans for the weekend because we have a few things we want to do this weekend and i am excited to get all these things done because usually during the weekend is when rudy is off so we maximize our time together and if we don't get to do all of the things on our list i'm not gonna be upset about it but the goal is to try to do as much as we can the first thing i want to do is send one of my friends books mary life books she just got engaged and i have a few books i want to recommend to her she just entering in such an exciting season in her life and i remember like when i was engaged it was a very short engagement but so many books have helped me in my walk in my marriage so i am excited to send her some books her way the second thing is start the prayer closet as you guys know we're gonna start the prayer closet and once we go downstairs i will walk you guys through what we're planning on doing on the closet because there's a few steps before we get to the fun part the third thing is painting the living room i put a question mark on there because i'm not sure if we're gonna do this this weekend i feel like it is a stretch but with the living room we have like a cream color it is really pretty but i feel like because the living room is a little bit dark i prefer having white walls we did have white walls before and then i painted it the cream color and i was looking at some pictures in my phone and i'm like oh my gosh the living room looks so bright and so beautiful with the white walls so i'm gonna bring up the idea to rudy and see what he thinks about that um and if we can do it this weekend if we have the time but we'll see the fourth thing is to clean our home and do laundry we had guests over last weekend so we pretty much didn't do we just cleaned up a little bit like vacuum and mopped but we didn't do a deep cleaning after guest and as you guys can see in my office i still have an air mattress and my desk right now is looking a mess and usually during the weekends it's really nice to just kind of clean up your space and you start the week fresh and having a clean space just truly helps me with my mental health and you're starting the week on the right foot so we're gonna clean the house and we're gonna do laundry i have a pile of laundry that i have to fold as well movie night so Rui and i want to squeeze in a date this weekend because we haven't had a proper date in a while i feel like all of our dates and quality time together has been us being at home and because we've been hosting a lot in our home we haven't had that one-on-one -on -one time so we're planning on going to the movie theaters they just came out with fast and furious i don't know what because fast and furious has so many movies that i'm like which one is it fast and furious 10 at this point i'm not sure play tennis question mark that's the second question mark activity because the past week the air quality in pa new york new jersey in a lot of different states have been horrible because of the canadian 
fires and if you're from Canada and you're watching this I hope that you are safe because it's been really bad down here I can only imagine how it is in Canada but the air quality is still not the best I do want to go play tennis um, this weekend it's gonna be really beautiful like weather wise tomorrow and Sunday but that is just in the air I'm not like a hundred percent forcing it so we'll see how that will go and the last thing on my to-do list is our family meeting which is just me and Rudy just checking in on each other let's start the weekend i don't know where to start actually but we are in my dining room this right here is gonna be my prayer closet it is in the main floor i love that it has a door but the best part is that it is pretty darn spacious um it has like a around the mirror here just paint it transform it i also love the idea of just having the door open and me praying me worshiping in there and just like half that overflow in my home um which is another reason why i really love this location because when i have kids in the future when we start a family i would love my kids to witness my fire and love for the lord and just having it here um, I feel like it is the perfect room. I'm thinking maybe today what we can start doing is just going to Home Depot and getting the materials and things. To start errands, you need, you need a snack. This one is from Alani. They just came out with their sour gummies. And I've been addicted to these. Like I've been eating them nonstop. Yesterday, I think I ate two bags. And this is my first bag of the day, which is not bad, which by the way, it is 4 p.m. But wow, these are so, so good. Need to refill yours? Uh, no, I usually try, I like to finish mine and then refill. eating and honestly if you're gonna run errands the best thing you can do is eat first and then run errands you're squishing okay. me mm -hmm. my hair can you like put your hair I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to keep you warm it's so working it's working mm -hmm. i'm cold Ooh. i did my hair today and it was raining i was like oh my gosh i'm about to ruin my hair the first day i did it so <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Hobby Lobby has all the seasons. Like, if you want Christmas in summer, come to Hobby Lobby because clearly they have the full stuff already. Yeah. What I'm trying to look for is um, security board. Pretty big security, security board. Security board. I'm security. trying to look for like stationary stuff. Oh my gosh, look, they have my little. Oh, yeah. Wow, I actually used that for um, picnics and stuff. And people were asking me like, oh, where you got that from? And I got it from a PR. But it's sitting Hobby Lobby, look at that. Interesting. Interesting. That is nice. Yeah. Honey, that's for me. Ow. Me to you. You're Sorry. You're kidding me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where to go. So you can't text and drive. Look at I multitask for nothing in you. Look at the things on top of there. Okay, honey, you're so obnoxious. Please stop. What's so cute? For the garden? What? This little, like... The speakers? <laughs> Those are not the, the noise that frogs make. <laughs> I want like a, like a water... Like a water feature outside that's like... A little fountain so like birds can go and like drink water you want little birdies in that front lawn i definitely do okay i'm here for my prayer closet stop getting distracted girl where did she put the paper out the binder right there this one If yep. there's one thing I love, it's the Barcelona cookie. 
but this thing has 470 calories. 470 calories. Jeez. We're going to Pottery Barn because I want to see their bedding. But excited? Yeah. I'm oh, we excited. love Pottery Barn. We love Pottery Barns, and Pottery Pottery Barns loves our pockets. I love the blue, right? Mm -hmm. The blue is really pretty. I love this. Like this is what I kind of want to look for. It's more like quilts and stuff like that. This is why you can't go into pottery barns. This is not okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what, honey? You can't go into pottery barns. You're forbidden. You're prohibited. You're banned. <laughs> I'm stepping into pottery barns for the How next can six you... months. Okay, first of all, I feel like we can agree that I haven't gone into Patio Barn in a long time. We didn't even check out the patio stuff. Thank God we didn't check out the patio <laughs> stuff. I know the plans were to start everything today, but that's not gonna happen. I found so many cute things for my prayer closet in Hobby Lobby. Literally three bags of stuff. So I found this really big cushion and it has a handle which is pretty cool so if i want to switch it which is not like a big deal but i don't know i really found this super cute it is very comfortable how adorable is this like a little hanging sign and it says we walk by faith and not by sight i also found this one it's another wooden piece very hobby lobby like hobby lobby has so many of this like wood decor with like scriptures which is why i went there this one says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. This one says, blessed beyond measure. Next, I have this small one that says, pray, let go, and let God take over. I love all these little signs. Like, it just reminds me of like a Christian mom in a farmhouse with like all the signs. And one of my favorite signs is this big butterfly. And it says, hope and faith are my wings the last decor piece which i'm planning on putting this at the back like that back wall because most likely i'm not gonna use that wall for hanging my scriptures or anything like that so i'm gonna put this sign and it says he is still good and finally for the prayer closet i got string lights because as you guys saw it is not the brightest in there but i feel like having low cozy lights it's gonna be the best touch. So these two are battery operated, which is perfect. And I I just love it. It's like clear and it has like gold uh, wire. And I feel like it would look so, so cute in there and very cozy. This is not for the, for the closet, but it is a recipes binder because I've been wanting to start my own recipe binder. I feel like I cook a lot and I get asked by my family like a lot of questions on like how I make this how I make that and I have signature dishes so I was thinking of just starting my own cookbook and just having this so if I'm gone if I'm traveling and roots by himself he can make my recipes and it's like in one spot I have to show you guys what I got from Pottery Barn so quick story when I walked in the store today I was shook when I saw this bedding and I was like Oh my gosh like I, i've been dying to get something like this because all of my bedding is pretty boring it's like whites and neutrals and like now i kind of want to get out of that a little bit i want to have more fun with patterns and, and and just have more color in my life so when i saw this i was like wow it is so beautiful and i have to show you two big bags oh, it's heavy quilt guys isn't this beautiful like what this is so so beautiful i am i'm obsessed with the colors i'm obsessed with the pattern the material isn't this beautiful i love it and it is uh washable so i can sip it out throw it in the washer if it gets dirty but are you obsessed are you obsessed? That is the haul for tonight. I am exhausted. I cannot wait to go to sleep. We're just gonna do laundry as you guys heard, but um, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna read my Bible and just read a book and just want to wine for the day because tomorrow we're gonna have a
for this experience. I was like, I'm not crazy. I know we won. I was just like, there's not much you can do if we lost them. I'm gonna start cleaning the house, like I said, as part of my list. We have to wait until everything dries up in the prayer closet, so I'm gonna take advantage and just start cleaning the home. I could sit around and wait all day. You lay easy on my mind, like a candle, I just burn away. TikTok video on it, but somehow we're not running late. But are we on time? It's 10 42. Mm, we're on time, okay? We're on time, so that's good. We're on time, but we're gonna be like, 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 <laughs> like, we got a we, with some sense of urgency, yeah. So we're going to church, and afterwards, we're gonna go eat breakfast. Um, we're going to the same spot, right. Yeah, we're gonna go grocery shopping right after breakfast because that way we just get that out of the way and then we can do the things that we want to do for the rest of the, the day. What are you getting? I'm gonna get uh, steak and eggs. I'm gonna do a steak and eggs, right? I'm gonna do three eggs. I'm gonna do cold and home fries. Also, we are doing our weekly check-in over food. So we're also taking that out of the list, doing our family meeting. We just put it My idea is to hang it kind of on the sides of this, so kind of like so that way it kind of gives an even lighting. 
I had to put a bigger one on the other one. Guys, we did both sides. My goal for these two big walls is to have like prayer requests or verses or scriptures I want to memorize. And then this one can be like Esther prayers, confirmation. You know what I mean? Should cover it with that. Barely, but. Oh my gosh. I just noticed that I wrote 2 Corinthians 5 7 and I bought this, which is 2 Corinthians 5 7. That is insane. to go play tennis confession i haven't played tennis in so long and today i'm super excited because it is really beautiful outside we did almost everything from our to-do list which is awesome and now we're just gonna have some fun shoes okay <laughs> if you catch me with these shoes i'm gonna win every time these are the what the vapor vapor what vapor pro Rudy has the same ones you're not wearing them baby i was gonna take that video of bunny oh you want another video you know that's gonna happen <laughs> you have to let me win i might let you win one you have to let me win what the heck might let you might let you win one so that you can say you you won one match. That's very mean. Of eucalyptus to put it in my shower because every time that I go to hotels they have this and it just feels like you're in a spa so this is the first time I'm trying it there we go and when you shower oh my gosh I look crazy when you shower with warm water it just like makes your bathroom your shower smell so good like even like the leaves right now it smells like eucalyptus. So good. We meet again in my bedroom at the end of the day. This weekend was honestly an amazing weekend. I'm actually super happy with how productive we were. We actually got a lot of things done for my to-do list. And I am now going to do some work before the week starts. That way I can wake up and like be ahead of my emails. And then at the end... Before I go to sleep, I'm going to read a few pages of my book that I'm reading right now. It's called Be Still My Soul by Elizabeth Elliot. Been loving her so far. And I'm almost done with the book in like three days, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you guys watched this vlog. Hopefully it serves you as motivation as well. And I can't wait to see you again. Bye.